Hello again, Joel Ross here at Randy's Music Piano Gallery, and I have something very exciting I want to show to you today. This is the Yamaha flagship of the CLP series. It's the CLP 795 GP. The GP stands for Grand Piano. It's just a little bit over four feet long. As you can see, a lovely, elegant, high polish finish, a grand lid top with a lid prop. And um, I'm not sure you can see from there, but if I were to move the um, music rack down, you can see that there is a spruce soundboard with a speaker placement, both presence speakers up and, of course, presence speakers down. The beauty of this is Yamaha threw everything they had technologically at this instrument to make a wonderful playing experience and listening experience. Let's start with the action. This uses Yamaha's best Clavinova action. It's linear graded. That means each individual key is weighted and balanced just like a regular acoustic piano would be. And of course they're, um, they have a little bit of a texture to the white keys and a bit of a texture to the black keys as well so they don't feel so slippery. Of course they are a wood core just like on a regular acoustic piano. So a really fine action. Um, of course the sound engine is their best. Uh, multiple levels of sampling on each note and something I'd like to talk to you about too is what they call the virtual resonance modeling. What that means is the faster and more aggressively you play on an acoustic piano, what happens inside the acoustic piano is other strings vibrate sympathetically and the soundboard um, is very much more energized. Even the, the plate makes a bit of noise and the rim resonates. So all that really doesn't have so much to do with, uh, with how shall I say, the pitch of, of, of the note, but it's all those extra musical effects or sounds that really constitute what makes up the instrument. What's also great about this instrument is um, multiple levels of pedaling. Sometimes people refer to that as half pedaling or flutter pedaling. On the lower end models, on competitors too, it's like an on-off switch. Either it's the dampers are lifted or they're not. But that's not what happens on a true acoustic piano. So I'm going to demonstrate a little bit of that too for you. What's also great about this product is it has a touch screen. You saw I just tapped this lightly and the instrument um, uh, panel came to life. So the CFX Grand is pretty much the default setting, I'd like to call it. When you first turn the instrument on, that's the sound that you hear, the flagship nine-foot concert grand that Yamaha manufactures. Enormous depth there. If you want to hear the Bersendorfer, of course Yamaha also owns the Bersendorfer plant in Vienna. A little warmer, rounder sound, more bell-like, Viennese, European sound. Excuse me. Also, 53 voices, many rhythms, and 406 general MIDI sounds. So that ought to get you started, right? Let's hear a little bit of the, um, the electric piano effect. Of course, um, everyone knows this sound. <laughs> Yamaha DX7 sound, the sound that defined the 80s. The 80s live again. Great organ effects, 
including pipe samples, um, drawbar samples, choir samples. We could probably be here all day, but just to respect uh, your time and uh, just to give you an idea that whatever sound you're after, this is going to produce it. And um, the other thing I wanted to, to tell you a little bit about, which I don't really have to demonstrate here, but if you go to the Yamaha website, um, and there are other YouTube videos on this, uh, this instrument is equipped with Bluetooth MIDI. And what that enables you to do is go to, um, to the Yamaha site, get the Smart Pianist app, and that opens up another whole panoply of options. You can go into the piano room, raise the lid virtually, adjust the uh, virtual resonance modeling. You can do some splits and layers a little bit more easily than you might be able to do on this touch panel, um, recording options and so on. So for people who really like to use their tablet, they could just put that up on the music rack and have that as you know a secondary way to, um, to operate their instrument. There's a lot of options on this piano and on the entire Clavinova series line. So we encourage you to come in, try this out, take a test drive yourself, audition this instrument and many of the other fine Clavinovas we have here in the gallery. And once again, thanks very much for watching.